In this tip, I'm going to show you how to reorder stacked bars with a parameter action by clicking on a bar. Previously, I showed you how to do this with a set action. The idea is that you click on one of the colors and it sorts that color to the bottom. Now with a set action, you have multiple things you, knew you need to do in order to configure properly. I find the parameter action in this case when you only need a single value is much easier to set up than a set action. Okay, let's get started. Let's say we want to split up subcategories by region. We're going to go ahead and put sales on the rows. And I want these all to be a percent of total. So I'm going to go to my sales field, click on the little drop down, quick table calculation, and percent of total. Now I want the bars to be stacked uh, within each subcategory. So in other words, I want them to add up by region. So I'm going to click on my sum of sales field again, compute using, and then region. And now we have our nice percent of total bar chart. So the idea here is I want to be able to click on the gray or the blue or the orange and have it sort to the bottom. To create the parameter, I'm going to go up to the little drop down on the data pane and choose create parameter. My parameter is going to hold a, one of the region names, so I'm going to call it my region parameter. I like to give my parameters names so that I know which fields they're working with. My data type is going to be a string. I'm going to set the current value maybe to the, to the south. It doesn't really matter which one I pick and hit OK. Now all I need to do is I just need to create a field that tells Tableau how to sort the bars. So I'm going to create a new calculated field and I'm just going to call it my sorter. I'm going to say if my region is equal to my region parameter, then I'm going to return 1, else, 0, end. Okay, so now basically we're just flagging each of the bars, giving the value of 0 or the value of 1, and you see that's in my measures now. So I'm going to go to my region field, I'm going to sort, and in my sort by, I want to pick the field. The field I want to pick instead of sales, I want that field to be my sorter, and I want it to be an average of the sorter. And I want to do it in ascending order so that south is at the bottom. Okay, great. So if I show my parameter, and I'm just going to manually change it to central, central will move to the bottom. If I change it to west, west will move to the bottom. But we want this to work with a parameter action. So I'm going to go up to dashboard, I'm sorry, worksheet, actions, and I'm going to choose add action and then change parameter. I'm going to call this update region parameter. The field I want, the, the parameter I want to target is my region parameter, and the field I'm going to pass to it is my region. And I'm going to leave it as current, keep current value, because I want the sorting to stay where it is. Hit OK, and hit OK again, and now when I click on chairs, you can see it moved to the bottom. I click on east, you can see it moved to the bottom. But what I don't want is this highlighting. I want it to kind of de-highlight at the same time. So to do that, I'm going to create a new calculated field, and I'm going to call it my dehighlight. And I can put any word in here. I'll just put dummy. doesn't matter. Hit OK. And I'm going to put that onto the detail shelf. So now I can go up to Worksheet Actions. I'm going to add, this time I'm going to add a highlight action. So I'm going to just call it Remove Highlight. I'm going to choose the selected fields, and I just want to choose the dehighlight field. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now when I click on the blue, it moves to the bottom. The gray, it moves to the bottom, etc. Now this looks great when it's animated. So to turn on animations, I'm going to go up to the Format menu. Go down to Animations. I'm going to turn them on. Set it to half second. And now when I click on one, you can see them slide. Really cool animations. So again, the steps are pretty simple. First thing we need to do is build our chart. The second thing we need to do is create a parameter. The third thing we need to do is create our sorting field. The fourth thing we need to do is create our dehighlight field. The fifth thing is to create our parameter action. And then lastly, we want to add in our highlight action or dehighlight action. So I hope you found that useful, and now you should 
be able to understand the difference between using a parameter action and a set action for this specific, specific example. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.